Hello everybody, um, welcome back, it's Baldy Chris, this is Let's Play Prey, and we're now on episode 13, if I'm keeping a careful enough count. And, um, in the last episode it got cut off um, very abruptly because my internet connection suddenly went out, um, not for long, but long enough to stop the, the broadcast on Twitch, uh, meaning the, the episode ground to a halt, so apologies um, for the sudden ending and lack of hellos and goodbyes, well, goodbyes rather than hellos, um, and I even actually had a, a watcher on Twitch at the time as well, so apologies to them as well, so we're presently in the the guts of Talos 1, um, that's an acronym which was something like General Universal Tur uh, Tunnel System, um, it's basically just a, a way to get transported around non-residential areas of the uh, the space station and we encountered new enemies called uh, cystoids uh, and also cystoid nests as well which are radioactive and I don't really know how to deal with them <laughs> and there's a lot of them um, that's the glue cannon isn't it that's yeah oh they are absolutely not glue proof that's that's good to know right maybe be a little less cautious of them from, from here on in. Yes, uh, thus far I haven't had too much issues with uh, radiation. I've largely stayed away from it. That's a generally good practice, I think. Yeah, I, so I don't really 100% know what to, to do about radioactive enemies, other than hit them with glue. Apparently we can't scan them either, which is odd. There we are, they got a lot closer than I would have liked. trying to wipe them out is better than just leaving them alone. It doesn't feel like a laissez-faire approach would be uh, terribly sensible. quite hard to hit it would seem. There we have got them there. Right. Should put some of these fires out as well. Preferably before I burn. There's something killing me from behind. Or am I just reading those hit indicators wrong? I feel like putting out the fires seems like a good idea, you know. Even if this isn't actually the vacuum of space, fire needs oxygen. It feels like that's going to be a pretty precious resource on a spaceship. I 
these nasty little bastards dead yet? I get it, more importantly. Feels like I did. Alright. I've got myself completely turned around in here. Am I going the right way? Probably not, no. That's backwards, isn't it? Multiple objectives this way. Yeah, that, that feels a little bit more likely. Sort of looks like there's a, a route through there, if necessary. Looks even more viable now the fan's stopped. Is there nothing this glue can't sort out? What did I do there? I did something silly. I think I must have let off some kind of uh, Typhon power. I was just trying to change the angle of rotation and press the wrong button. Like a noob. Right. Does this open? not appear to open so I guess we're going through that fan wherever it is there it is oh some shiny stuff as though burst firing those things is a bit more effective than uh, trying to do single shots. It might also be out of range, I don't know. Certainly I'm getting a radiation warning, so... Be careful of that. go flying past me. Might be wrong.
gone. Not that I'm much of a DIY expert, but this feels like trying to get rid of uh, bubbles in wallpaper. You push it down, it just pops up somewhere else. Uh, right, I think I've got something anti-radiation in here. Yeah, that'll do. Um, let's let's use that. Right, are all of these bloody things dead yet? Of course they're not. Is there some means of dealing with them, do you think? No weaknesses, no immunity. <laughs> uh, right, okay. What about now? Are we finally free of cystoids? Sounds like a medical condition. Speaking of medical conditions, I will take a medical kit. Can't have too many of those bad boys. Gonna do a quick save as well. I mean, for all the progress it's been, which is <laughs> 50 meters down the tunnel. Shiny stuff. Hadn't realised that was upside down. So presumably that's just an information panel rather than Okay, that doesn't appear to be a threat anymore. It doesn't appear to be interactable with either. Seriously, more? Ew. That's definitely not helpful. What's the, uh... Oh, that doesn't really help. I can't imagine that trying to plug away at these with, uh... A conventional weapon is a good idea. So that was just the, uh the foam bolts <laughs> until we finally found a, a combat use for these foam bolts really helpful, isn't it? Yes, glue might temporarily stop the arcing electricity, but I don't have any... That's a nuisance for sure. What about through the fans again? That <laughs> worked before. I'm 
lost my bearings. Where am I in relation to the thing that was in need of fixing? Right, I think since we don't have any glue and since it's completely bypassable that I'm just going to bypass it. What got me that time? Morgan, steady. That pulse hit your suit systems pretty hard. It came from the substation ahead. There's a magnetosphere around Talos 1 that keeps the sun from cooking your insides. Hopefully the generator isn't dying. For well, let's hope so. I'll be fine. here at all? Oh, yes, quite easily in fact. And um, we'll take a medikit. Hell yes. Some poor bugger just sat there eating bananas and they just kind of disintegrated into water. Or something, at any rate. Um, should I be worried about the. Uh, <laughs> The over generousness of giving me medicates that's sort of three in the last small distance. Which does rather imply the presence of something that will require three medicates in the very near future. Okay, can I get in? Okay. Yes, but where are the magnetosphere? Or where is the magnetosphere control room? Ah, okay, hopefully there's a sign to magnetosphere. Hiya, Ramon. save and the usual hunting round for good stuff anti-radiation <laughs> again that bodes a bit badly well 
thought that was a window rather than a screen. Well, I guess we're going through that door then. Is that just the door closing behind me? That definitely made me jump. need a wrench, but I can recycle it later, I suppose. Warning. Plasma shockwave imminent. Okay. Just as soon not get hit Warning. by that. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. Hiya, Sir Dragon Hunter. Uh, I didn't even see your comment up here, up there. <laughs> uh, you, I'm always pleased to have viewing numbers, yes, and it's nice to have comments again. I just wasn't paying proper attention, sorry. Um, no, uh, that's fine. Um, you, you don't need to watch me play everything that I play. Um, this is me doing uh, my Let's Play Prey again. And I don't really know what I'm doing with this game as well. I'm clearly far more proficient with Enter the Gunstrin than this one, as well. Yeah, no, I don't know if those shockwaves are actually doing me any harm or not, but I can't imagine they're doing me any good. A suit repair kit, yeah. Langley! Hey, what's the matter? He's. He's dead! Whoa, what? Who's dead? Anders! I tried to call security, I tried. Do you need a medical team? I said he's dead, Langley! Right. Laura? Take a deep breath. Tell me what happened. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anders went into the mag chamber to test one of the coils that's been flaking on us. I don't know what happened exactly, but there was a pulse. I think it cooked him in his suit. God, I'm so sorry, Laurel. Can you get up to the Arboretum? No, Anders had the key card. Pretty sure okay, Laurel can't get to the Listen, Arboretum. Just sit tight. Don't go into that chamber. I'm going to find Chief Elizari. We'll get a security team. Perhaps not soon enough to save Laurel. Dead inside the magnetosphere chamber. Was that the body I saw floating up in here earlier? Warning, plasma shockwave imminent. You can't scan deadies, can you? Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four. Wait, I'll take it sheltered here, I don't two, know. One. Nope, that hurt. <laughs> I can hack it. Uh, yeah, let's let's do it. Theory, I can hack it. Okay, so this is gonna hurt again. Right. Let's try that again. 
Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay, so we're far enough back from that. Then it doesn't hurt. That's good. What just said my name? Oh, it's an operator. Scanning. Neuroimaging shows your mental resources. This should help. That should help you concentrate. Warning. So there's going to be five bodies in here. How have I suddenly got a new uh, objective? Oh, we're presumably trying to find this uh, Josh Dalton. Why, why do I want to find Josh Dalton? Okay, so I'm still not 100% clear why I want to find it, but presumably it'll do some good. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in. Five, four, three, two, one. Really? <laughs> Okay, that's, that's a great warning to have from someone who's dead. Oh, the stairs there. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five. Shelter in the dunny, right? Clickbait in space, hurrah. So I wonder how many bog rolls they had when they, they left Earth. So I guess I'm going upstairs. Warning, plasma shockwave imminent. Sky deep storage, you need to access all the Warning, seek shelter, plasma you shockwave in. Five, four, three, two, one. That stuff. 
sort of run out of glue, I can't um, stop it from being harmful right at the minute. Did I just see a, a bad thing get highlighted on here? Yes, there was. Fantastico. Warning, plasma shockwave imminent. Shelter, plasma shockwave in five. They really four, don't seem to like being three, shot with little foam darts. Two, it's very bizarre. One. Well, that seems very effective. One little foam dart that does nothing to anything else. Managed to take out a whole cystoid nest. That previously exhausted my entire ammo supply. All oh, right, so I'm gonna have to go in. Good o. Save there, and then uh, try and get this uh, Anders geezer wherever he's got to. Anders, that's kind of a Swedish name, isn't it? Since uh, explain for anyone else that comes to view this on YouTube at a later stage, uh, Sir Dragon Hunter is from Sweden. Shockwave imminent. This is me about to die then. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Deadly combos. Seems like an odd time to tell me about that. Well, this isn't where I say. Yes. Did I get stuff off him or not? It's just gotta carry him. Doctor here. Normal gravity detected. Right, Anders. Plasma shockwave imminent. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so what am I supposed to do with whatever I've got off and Anders? Travel to the Arboretum, that's not super helpful. Did I just get a key card or something off him? I didn't really see. Right, um, I don't really know what's happening there. I was a little bit too concerned about not getting magnetopulsed. Really? 
really? How many of these bloody things are actually attacking me? Friendly one. <laughs> Primarily, I take readings and analyze data. I also provide reference lookups. Warning Plasma shockwave imminent. All we can do is warning and seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five. Right, that doesn't seem willing to patch me up in any way, which is a little unhelpful. Oh, I've taken a bit of a hit on the health, let's, let's have a med kit or something similar. to get that stuff that's irritating Have got anything i can like blow it up with or anything warning seek shelter plasma shockwave in five four three two one right can i open this now I guess I picked up a key card off his body. I didn't didn't notice me doing it, I just saw I was interacting with it in some way. What's happening? Don't let them do this to you. Yeah, I do not know what this gold stuff is. However, it doesn't seem to be harming me, so... The entire type in ecology appears to be centered around the creation of this substance. The original researchers called it coral. Beautiful. But we're not sure what its purpose is. It's never spread outside the containment cylinder. Until now. <laughs> Hasn't done a good job of containing it, then. Radioactive. Let's let's not piss about with that. Thank you.
just experimenting with the potential for wanton destruction. There seems to be a lot of these explosive cylinders around. Sort of hinting that maybe I should do some exploding. Well, I don't know that that did any good or bad. Uh, an enemy thing of some kind. Don't like these foam darts. <laughs> it's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. If it works, it's not stupid. Right, let's take that scanner off. Oh, there's Josh. I was supposed to look for him for some reason. saying to... It's not funny, asshole. You know what's not funny? Taking credit for my design. That's what this is about? I'm senior on the Black Box Project, Josh. That's how it works here. If you weren't such a piss-poor team player, you'd understand that. Oh, and by the way, I had to fix a bunch of your calculations, so it's not you... Seriously? You're recording this? <laughs> what, is, is this a big sting operation, Josh? You gonna hand me over to the DA? <laughs> You're so pathetic. I'm done here. Josh, what are you doing? Let's just see how good my calculations are. I swear to God, if you don't put that down, I will rip it out of your sweaty hands and... Josh! Okay, uh, well, I'm having the Q-beam since I've already had some ammo for it. And I think... Uh, there we go. Unstable particles that will eventually cause the target to to explode. Oh yeah, I do like the sound of that. Uh, Josh, you are clearly a bad boy and I hope you didn't explode your former colleague. But yes, I think uh, having picked up the weapon is probably a good time to bring the episode to a close, even though effectively all I've done is come halfway down a tunnel. Um, but yes, so I'll, uh, I'll end the episode there. Uh, thank you, Sir Dragon Hunter, for watching again, even though it was a, a game you weren't familiar with. Um, I'm sure I'll catch you again on Twitch at another time. And to everyone else, um, I'll see you in the next episode, either on Twitch or on YouTube. All right, take care. Bye for now.